Hi, my name is Elise Haneke Stone and I'm at West Hills Montessori in Portland, Oregon and I'd like to talk to you about how we use the charts in Montessori and in the examples I'm going to use I'm going to talk about botany. And we do lots and lots of botany in the elementary because it really appeals to the children's imagination. And when we work with the children with botany, we always start with live specimens like the cedar tree and the leaves. And so I would start my lesson by looking at a leaf with the children and maybe talking about leaves and collecting leaves and wondering about leaves. And then we would come back and come to a circle and have a conversation. And we would use this chart, which is a good example of one of the kinds of charts we have in Montessori. This is a very imaginative and metaphorical chart. And this is the chart of the food factory inside the leaf. And every leaf has in it a food factory because that's how a plant makes its food to meet its needs. So this is the way it looked inside my imagination when I was making this chart. We have this, this is the inside of the leaf, and you can see the green color that has a special name. It's called chlorophyll. And there aren't really little people inside the chart, we explained, inside the leaf, we explained to the children, but the work that goes on inside the leaf to make the food, it's kind of like having a factory inside the leaf. And so we have water coming in, and water is made out of hydrogen and oxygen. And the inside of the leaf, the plant can separate the hydrogen and the oxygen and mix it together and use the energy of the sun to make food. And then the leaf gives off oxygen. And you can see I'd be talking through a very simplified version of photosynthesis. And depending on the age of the elementary child, we might spend more time thinking about all the different leaves that are out in the environment and out on our playground or in our classroom and our house plants and an older child we might spend more time talking about the different um, the different chemicals here and the different chemical bonds here and how the plants give off oxygen and mammals and other animals give off carbon dioxide and we might start talking about that cycle in the planet so this is really a springboard into the children's world using their imagination to think about things and for follow-up work for this I've had children want to make their own version of it and some of them will make a food factory but some of them might make an entirely different metaphor some of them have made it in 3d some of them have gone on to research it more scientifically it really depends on the interests of the child but we've gotten the basic information out using the child's strength of imagination and wondering